Georgina Hale, a luminary of British film, television, and stage, passed away January 4, 2024, at age 80. In this video, we'll delve into her life and career, exploring her early struggles, rise to fame, and the legacy she leaves behind in the world of entertainment. Facts First presents Georgina Hale has died at 81 years old. Early Life and Rise to Fame Georgina Hale's journey to stardom began in the humble settings of Ilford, Essex, where she was born August 4, 1943. Raised by parents Elsie and George Robert Hale, her early life was marked by frequent relocations, contributing to a tumultuous educational experience. She often recounted how her struggles with reading and writing, coupled with the constant change of schools, deeply impacted her, leaving her feeling like an outsider. Despite these challenges, Hale's resilience and passion for the arts shined through. As a teenager, she took a bold step towards her dream, working as an apprentice hairdresser while immersing herself in acting. Her dedication led her to the Chelsea Actors Workshop in London, where she studied Stanislavski's method, a testament to her commitment to honing her craft. Her talent and determination didn't go unnoticed. She was accepted into the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, graduating in 1965. This marked a significant turning point, laying the foundation for her illustrious career. Her professional debut came the same year with the Royal Shakespeare Company, where she played minor roles showcasing her versatility and dedication. Her early stage career saw her performing in various repertory theaters across the UK, including notable roles in Gigi and Romeo and Juliet. Her portrayal of Eliza Doolittle in Pygmalion at the Thorndike Theater in Leatherhead and her acclaimed performance as Nina in Chekhov's The Seagull further solidified her reputation as a rising star in the theater world. Peak Fame and Spotlight the 1970s marked the beginning of Hale's peak fame, a period characterized by her collaboration with director Ken Russell. Her role as Alma Mahler in the 1974 film Mahler was a career-defining moment. Her portrayal of the complex character earned her critical acclaim and the BAFTA Award for Most Promising Newcomer to Leading Film Roles. This role not only showcased her acting prowess, but also her ability to bring depth and nuance to complex characters. Her collaboration with Russell continued with roles in The Devils, The Boyfriend, Listomania, Valentino, and Treasure Island. Russell once described Hale as an actress capable of making, quote, the hair rise on your arms. Her stage career paralleled her success in films. In 1981, Hale played the leading role of Josie in Nell Dunn's play Steaming at the Comedy Theater in London, earning a nomination for a Laurence Olivier Award. Her versatility was further highlighted by her performances in a range of productions, from Summit Conference to The Cherry Orchard. Her television career was equally illustrious, spanning six decades. She made significant appearances in The Wednesday Play, ITV Playhouse, and ITV Play of the Week. Her role in the children's adventure series Teabag between 1990 and 92 showcased her ability to connect with a younger audience, adding another dimension to her already versatile career. During this time, Hale's talent was not confined to the UK. Her performances reached international audiences, solidifying her status as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Her ability to seamlessly transition between theater, film, and television was a rare quality that set her apart. Later Life and Personal Life As Georgina Hale transitioned into the later stages of her career, her passion for acting remained undiminished, though her appearances became more selective. Her last stage role was in Samuel Beckett's Endgame at the Gate Theatre Dublin and the Barbican Centre London as part of the Beckett Centenary Festival in 2006. Away from the limelight, Hale's personal life was as rich and varied as her professional one. She married actor John Forgham in 1964, but the union ended in divorce. Despite the challenges in her personal life, she remained a beloved figure among her peers and fans, known for her warmth and vivacious personality. Her later years were spent away from the public eye, enjoying a quieter life. She often reflected on her career with fondness and gratitude, acknowledging the opportunities and experiences that acting had brought her. Her legacy in the acting world was not just in the roles she played, but also in the inspiration she provided to aspiring actors. Death and Tributes Georgina Hale passed away January 4, 2024, at age 80. 
The cause of her death was not publicly disclosed, but her passing marked the end of an era in British entertainment. The news of her death was met with an outpouring of grief and tributes from fans, colleagues, and contemporaries from around the world. Renowned for her roles in film and theater, she was remembered not just for her talent, but also her spirit and dedication to her craft. Tributes poured in from all corners of the entertainment industry. A former co-star reflecting on her passing said, quote, Georgina was a force of nature. Her talent was as immense as her heart. Working with her was not just an honor, but also a joy. She will be deeply missed. A contemporary from the theater world commented, Georgina Hale was a true artist. Her performances were not just acts, but a form of truth-telling. She had the rare ability to connect with her audience on a profound level. Her legacy will live on in the hearts of all who had the pleasure of seeing her on stage and screen. The Guardian, in their obituary, highlighted her unforgettable presence and unique ability to bring characters to life. Fans and admirers took to social media to express condolences, sharing clips of her performances and recounting how her work had touched their lives. Legacy Georgina Hale's legacy in entertainment is as multifaceted as her career. She leaves behind a rich tapestry of performances that span the spectrum of acting, from the Shakespearean stage to contemporary film and television. Her journey from a struggling student to a celebrated actress is a narrative of resilience and determination, serving as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that talent, combined with perseverance, can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Her film roles, particularly her collaborations with Ken Russell, showcased her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Her portrayal of Alma Mahler in Mahler remains a benchmark for aspiring actors, demonstrating how a role can be both a personal exploration and a universal statement. Her BAFTA award for this role is not just a testament to her skill, but also to her ability to connect with audiences on a profound level. On stage, her performances were marked by an undeniable presence and a nuanced understanding of her characters. Her nomination for a Laurence Olivier Award for her role in Steaming is indicative of her impact on British theater. She brought a unique energy to every performance, captivating audiences and critics alike. Beyond her roles, her legacy is also in the way she approached her craft, her dedication to continuous learning, her willingness to take on challenging roles, and her ability to remain grounded despite her fame are qualities that have endeared her to both colleagues and fans. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of Georgina Hale's performances resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments section below.